Good morning, students. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to check the division sums. Okay. In the last video, we had done the question E of enrichment activities that is given in your book on page number one hundred seventy. Divide we had done already, but checking process we have to continue in this video. Okay. So for checking. The division sum you have to know one formula that is dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Okay, answer we had already know. Answer of this question is three sixty six divided by three. Answer is that is quotient is one hundred twenty two and remainder is zero. Okay, now. Our formula for checking process is dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. This R is for remainder. Okay. So next step, we just have to put the values from the question and the sum that we had done already. So dividend, dividend is three hundred sixty-six from the question. Now equal to as it is. Now divisor, divisor is three. Write three in place of divisor. Then in the formula into write into as it is quotient. Quotient we got is one hundred twenty two. So write one hundred twenty two in place of quotient plus remainder is zero. Write that zero as it is. Okay. Now in the next. No need of solving the left hand side. Left hand side remains as it is. Right is three hundred sixty six as it is equal to first multiply these two three into one hundred twenty two. When you multiply, you got answer three hundred sixty six. Okay. Now next is plus. Zero plus remainder that is zero. Okay. Now left hand side three hundred sixty six equal to when you add zero to any number, answer will be that number only. So when we add zero to three hundred sixty six, answer will be three hundred sixty six. Okay. Just observe the answer. Left hand side three hundred sixty six. Right hand side three hundred sixty six. That means we can say that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Okay. If we are getting the same left hand side and right hand side, if they are equal, that means our answer is absolutely correct. Okay. In this way, you have to check the division sum. Okay. Other than this, two more questions are there for checking. So let us move to second one. Second question is. Second question is six hundred five divided by five. That also we had already done in our previous video. So question is six hundred five divided by five. Now the question that we got is. One hundred twenty-one and remainder is also zero here. Okay, so same check. You have to write the formula dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Okay, now next step is to put their values. Just to put the values, dividend from the question we can write six zero five equal to Divisor. What divisor is given here? Five into quotient is one hundred twenty-one plus remainder is zero. Okay. Next step. Left hand side six zero five remains as it is. Now multiply five into one twenty-one is six zero five. Now plus. Remainder zero is as it is. Here also zero remainder. That means when we add zero to six zero five, answer will be six zero five only. Okay. 
just to compare the left hand side and right hand side are they equal yes left hand side 605 and right hand side 605 is there that means we can say that lhs equal to rhs left hand side is equal to right hand side that means this answer is correct okay so two questions we have done now the last is third one third question is 6876 divided by 8 and the question that we got is 859 and remainder is 4 okay same steps we have to follow like this previous two questions formula we have written already dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder okay just to put the values from the question and the sums that we have done dividend 6876 equal to divisor is 8 